Hello everyone, Blackbox here. Now today we are talking about the ground speed mini function. The ground speed mini function is a very neat feature which helps you to maintain a certain energy level overhead the ground. This is especially helpful when uh, wind conditions are gusty and uh, the wind varies a lot. I'm gonna demonstrate this function on two different approaches. On the first one here, the wind will be decreasing slowly from 35 knots down to 15 knots overhead the threshold. Now before we get to the calculation of the ground speed mini, here's a look again at how the V approach is calculated. The V approach equals the VLS plus a third of the tower reported headwind component up to a maximum of 15 knots. So as long as the headwind component is uh, less than 15 knots, the maximum speed increment will be 5 knots. And that is why in our case here the V approach is 136 knots. Now the ground speed mini equals the V approach minus the tower headwind component. So in this case the ground speed mini equals 136 minus 15 which equals 121 knots. The value of the ground speed mini is uh, not displayed anywhere. So this value is the minimum energy level for the approach. Now the FMGC will calculate the target speed with the ground speed mini value. So the target speed indicated by the magenta triangle is the greater of the V approach or the value calculated by ground speed mini plus the RDS headwind component. So at the moment the target speed is 147 knots. And that is because we have a ground speed mini of 121 knots and a headwind component measured by the RDS of 26 knots. Now let us just continue to watch how the decreasing headwind component changes the indicated target speed. So at the moment we have a headwind component of 25 knots so the target speed is 146 knots. 1000. Now we have a headwind component of 20 knots and the target speed has dropped down to 141 knots. Now carefully monitor the target speed as the headwind component decreases slowly. Five hundred. Now we have a headwind component of 15 knots and so the target speed equals the V approach speed of 136 knots. If the wind were to drop to say 10 knots headwind component, the V approach would stay at 136 knots. This is because it always has to be 5 knots above the VLS. Okay, let's do a go around for the second approach. Go around flaps. Flaps 3. Positive climb, gear up. Okay, so on this second approach, the wind will now slowly increase to 50, 50 knots and then decrease back down again to 15 knots. Let's have a look how the target speed varies. Also monitor the ground speed value on the navigation display, which is presently at 125 knots. Now the ground speed mini equals 122 knots. If we add the present headwind component of 
of 40 knots, we get a target speed of 162 knots. Now the headwind component is 48 knots and so the target speed is indicated at 170 knots. By the way, the maximum target speed is uh, VFE minus 5 knots. Okay, now carefully monitor the target speed as the wind decreases again. Also monitor the ground speed, which uh, stays around 126 knots. Okay, so now we're reaching 30 knots headwind component, and so the target speed is 152 knots. One thousand. Okay, now we have about 20 knots headwind component and the target speed is indicating correctly at 142 knots. Okay, so now headwind component 15 knots, we have the approach speed of 137 knots and also see the ground speed uh, is still just at about 123 knots. So the ground speed has above. remained pretty much constant during the whole approach. 200. So that's what the ground speed mini function Minimum. is all about. So as demonstrated in this video, even with very 100. strong varying wind components, the energy level over at the ground, 50. indicated 40. in this case by the 30. ground speed, has 20. remained pretty much constant. Ten. Retard. This Retard. also means that thrust changes are minimized. Five. Okay, now don't be alarmed, I'm gonna do another go around, because the flare was too long, and uh, the aircraft missed the touchdown zone. Okay, go on first is set, flaps are three, we have positive climb, gear up. Cancelling the warning. Ooh, finally some peace and quiet. And so we come to the end of this video. I hope you've understood the concept of the ground speed mini function. Should you still have some questions, please post them down in the comment section below. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.